Hi guys, Rishi this side. So today I'll be talking about a simple yet powerful technique with which you can use overflowing elements like this in your auto layout designs. So let's jump into the tutorial. I have the assets ready with me. There's an image, a bunch of text and a button. Now if we see the structure of button, it's fairly simple button. I have just drawn a square frame with corner radius and I've given it a fill and a drop shadow which is having a color so that we can give it kind of, you know, a glow effect. So let's just group our text together. I'll select everything, press Command G or Control G on Windows everything is grouped let's rename this to content cool now just drag and select everything and let's put everything in a frame we can use this option frame selection or you can always use a shortcut command option g I highly recommend shortcuts for any of the tools that you use. It will just double up your work speed. So this is one way of framing things. Another way is I'm just doing control Z. If I press shift A, what it will do, it will automatically put a frame on the selected elements with an auto layout property. Let's rename this to card card 2 ok now you can see that we have some extra elements here let's just remove this so we'll be working with these elements now if I select this card just add a fill and let's add a padding maybe 24 pixels and difference sorry the spacing between the elements 24 pixels now using this we can set the alignment of the elements so right now it's top left corner so what we need to do is we need to give it center and left yeah so now if you see usually auto layout works on the boundary of the elements so this image having this much of a boundary let, uh, like 275 into 288 and this button is 80 by 80 so that means wherever the boundary is ending of the element from there the padding will start for the auto layout right now if we want to push this element out of this a simple trick what we can do is let's put this in a frame and let's call this overflow element now if you see this element is underneath this frame and if I reduce this frame we can actually you know cheat the auto layout similarly same technique we can use this for button let's put this in a frame let's call it overflow element let's reduce the parent frame and I'll just go inside this frame and I will move the position with arrow keys let's add a rounded corner see such a simple technique now you can you know change your heading let's say if I reduce this the card will reduce if I increase this the card will increase and of course we can have an overflowing element as well now this technique has a lot of you know a lot of possibilities it all depends upon your imagination and your design maybe you can have a little bit more overflowing elements out of this frame and you you can even change the order as well from this property we can give it a vertical direction and let's say let's move this out of this frame right so one thing to keep in mind 
let's not just click and drag the elements out because as you can see it has pushed this element out of its parent frame so whenever you are doing this try to use the arrow keys and another thing to keep in mind here i have used a group and not a frame why because a group will define its boundaries based on its child elements so if the title is smaller like this so the biggest width of this element is of these three stars so the group is taking width according to the largest child element width and of course you can have an auto layout on these elements so as i said the possibilities are unlimited it all depends upon your imagination and just in case if your text is not working like this or it's not you know expanding like this just to make sure you have this property enabled auto width not the fixed size or not the auto height auto width right and if your elements are not visible just make sure that you know your parent element does not have a clip content property on it should be off and in fact for the outer frame as well just check the property clip content should be off so guys this was a simple little trick i hope it might help you in some way and if you like the video please subscribe my channel and like this video and share with fellow designers who might use this technique in their designs thanks for watching guys bye bye